A big day here at the National Institutes of Health with the release of the National Plan to Address Alzheimer's Disease and the announcement of two major new clinical trials of potentially disease-modifying therapies. The plan's goal is to eliminate Alzheimer's disease by 2025. Doctors Eric Ryman and Suzanne Kraft are poised to help bring that goal to fruition. This is a placebo-controlled study in which we will study about 300 carriers and non-carriers of this mutation in the vicinity of Medellin, Colombia, and a smaller group of family members in the United States. Some of the carriers will receive uh, the antibody therapy, some of the carriers will receive placebo, and an additional group of non-carriers will also get placebo so that we don't force the family members to receive information about their genetic status, which can be very sobering. You'll be using biomarkers and imaging agents to assess your patients along the way? So one of our goals is to use all of the best biological measurements of Alzheimer's disease. FDG PET measurements of glucose metabolism, for better pure PET measurements of amyloid plaque deposition, MRI measurements of brain shrinkage, cerebral spinal fluid measurements of A, beta, and tau species, have samples, blood samples and cerebral sam uh, fluid samples available for everybody else. Dr. Suzanne Kraft's trial will focus on intranasal insulin, a therapy that proved beneficial to patients in a smaller trial. The trial will involve 240 uh, participants who have early Alzheimer's disease or mild cognitive impairment, which is the condition that precedes Alzheimer's disease. And they'll receive either placebo or uh, a dose of intranasal insulin, insulin that is uh, administered with a specialized device that directs it to pathways that allow it to enter the brain very quickly. Uh, participants will receive the insulin or placebo uh, for a 12-month period and they'll receive cognitive testing before uh, beginning the insulin treatment and at the end of that 12-month period. They'll also uh, complete brain imaging and some of the participants will uh, complete lumbar punctures to look at spinal fluid measures of Alzheimer's disease. And then at the end of the 12-month period, everyone in the study will receive uh, the insulin in an open label extension. Uh, and again, at the end of that six-month period, we'll do additional cognitive testing. When your trial's completed, are you going to be releasing all of this into a publicly available database? Absolutely. We've developed a data sharing plan. So I think the data sharing is, is an, a critical part of um, advancing our knowledge about, about this terrible disease.